Hey, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm going to do this. We have not rehearsed this, but we're going to do our own TT, everybody. Oh. Okay. Okay. The opening. I, I, I don't know about the this. The opening. You're going to imitate me. Okay. I'm going to do my own TT and I'm going to do it. You're going to say the thing. Oh, okay. And then, okay, you so ready? So just so I can translate the Deloise speak for everyone else. Yeah. If, I mean, maybe you got it. Maybe everyone's like, shut up, Jen. But like, da David associates TT with doing like, um, like mouthing things. Yeah. Which I mean, is, but that's not all it isn't is. That there's, what a, it is? there's a lot of things. Like there's dancing, there's talking, there's, there's uh, lots of things. Okay, so, but, but if it makes you can lip laugh. sync, you can become famous. Yes, sure. Okay. All right. I'm going to lip sync the thing. And we haven't yeah. rehearsed this, so I'm so ready. So it's going to go really well. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to Wizards of Waverly Pod. Hi, Jennifer Stone. I'm David Deloise. <laughs> I fucked up in the end. Okay, that was good. It reminded me of, um, did you ever see on SNL with Kristen Wiig and, um, oh, fuck. What's his name? Uh, Portlandia. But they would do this thing on Weekend Update where, because you know I'm a big SNL fan, um, where they would like wear sweater, what, holiday sweaters. And then they would ask them like, oh, you've prepared a song. And they're like, ah, uh, yeah, we prepared a song. And they'd be like, and you get the best of the, they just like make it up they as they go. Up. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a great bit. Make them uh, ups. No, 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 Ma uh, yeah, make them ups. <laughs> uh, I thought I had his name, but I don't. Okay. Fred Armisen, yes. Dahlia for the win. Thank you, Dahlia. So Fred Armisen, that was going to eat away at my brain like a pion and so funny. mad cow's disease. Anyway, yeah. my brain's weird. Okay, season one, episode 18. Season uh, one, episode 18. Credit check. Originally aired on July 6th, 2008. This is, I mean, come on. Why is it credit check? Because I really don't know. Um, that title never made oh, any sense to me. Oh, credit check. Cause she doesn't get credit for oh, the idea. Wow, fucker I takes the idea dumb. and then yeah, I'm dumb. I did not connect those no, two, and I was like, it has stone. nothing to do with her credit card. Like I don't understand. But that's what is getting credit. That makes right? sense. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks, to David. No problem. Um, so we start off in the sub shop with the family meeting for the monthly sandwich idea. Alex has an idea for a sandwich that's actually really cute. Uh, meet me in Little Italy. Double meat on a small Italian roll, or meet me in Turkey, which is just double meat with turkey. Yeah. You know. Justin suggests a sandwich naming dice, which is rolling a pair of dice to come up with new sandwiches. But Alex fixes the dice to always land on Lincoln Tunnel tuna. And and the dice, his, <laughs> his dice get the same thing every time. Yeah, because right? she, she, she did it to always be Lincoln Tunnel tuna. So she, every time we'd roll it, he'd be like, and Lincoln Tunnel tuna. And everyone's yeah. like, oh, God, that's gross, you know, because obviously Lincoln Tunnel is not the cleanest place. I'm going to go to the top of what you said Probably, right away. Please. Family meeting family time i think it's so important we have lost that you know yeah. when i was younger we used to get together my dad was italian and made food and you know it was all about you know italians that's how they you show love food yeah but we would always have dinner and sit down together as a family you yeah. know nowadays it's just everybody's head is in the fucking phone yeah right? when i feel like i've heard of some families having uh like phone free dinners and things like that which i think is super healthy but the fact that we even have to think about that is oh, that's our, really sad. That's our existence. I now. honestly, I left my phone and my friends. I, I did this like uh, Joshua tree road trip with a friend of mine, super quick, like weekend trip. And I left my phone in her car and I was seeing her at work the next day. What? When you were leaving? No, no, no. So she like, drove back and okay. I left my phone like in like the thing of her car. I started panicking. I know. I saw, no. So it was one of those things and I got home and she was like, well, do you want me to turn around? And I'm like, no, you're tired. Like you've been driving. Like I'll just see you at work tomorrow. You're if you don't mind just charging. Nice, Jen no, but it's like, but I also too was like, I don't fucking need my phone. But I like ordered dinner and I realized like how much things got harder because I didn't have this safety blanket that we all carry how around. did you order dinner on my computer because ah, okay. it's 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 for, you know Apple, what if you didn't so have your connected. computer you'd have to actually go somewhere and talk well to i someone. can't talk <laughs> I mean, you know how i feel about talking on the phone i can't heaven forbid i call on the phone yeah yulia's like that she doesn't like to phone. talk i mean I it's a second phone. language i literally a friend called me the other day and i picked up and he goes oh and i was like what why that reaction he goes i just thought i was leaving a voicemail because <laughs> i know i hate the phone i just well, now, i just don't love it nowadays I send a text to someone mm -hmm. to see if I can call them. And then That's sometimes weird. if they're older, I'll just call them because I think yeah, they're yeah, more yeah. used to that. Yeah. But um, also what's so fascinating and is if someone doesn't text you back, mm -hmm. you know, in, within, let's say, a uh, six hour period, it means they fucking hate you because you know everybody has their phone <laughs> attached to their hand. Uh, that's not know? necessarily true. That's not necessarily well, true because I mean, there's been times I had a, I had a guy one time I was talking to um, 
which this was a huge red flag. So I just was like, no. Um, but I was at the hospital. He was telling me like a story and he'd always do it through voice memos, which is fine. That's totally fine. But like th my hospital doesn't have like great reception for some reason. The morgue has better reception than the ER for whatever reason. That's funny. I don't understand. It's like all the ESP, the dead bodies are getting whatever. Um, but the, uh, he sent me this story. I listened to it and then was like, I was in the break room with other people. I didn't really want to respond in that moment. So I was like, I'll just respond later. He like lost his mind. He's like, oh, you're just like all the other LA girls who don't, you know? And I was like, wow. dude, I'm working at the hospital. I'm a little busy, you know? So a lot of times during that shift or whatever, I won't check my phone until like the end of the shift or yeah. I'll try it like lunch. Also, that's a red flag. Yes. Oh, and yeah, and communication flag. is key. So telling him I'm at work. I have a friend, but Chelsea. We had, we had just started talking. So yeah. it wasn't in a place where I owed him that. I'm a responder right away because I don't want to yeah. forget something. I know. You know? You're, you're really good about that. And, yeah. and that's what happens to me when I don't respond right away. I forget. And then I, yeah. And then I just Well, then like I go asshole. and I scroll through my text and see like, uh, Did you oh, respond should everything? I just, well, like my, my niece who I didn't know I had. Ashley. Surprise. Uh, my brother has a, when she was 30, we found out that he had a child. Hey, you told me about this. So Life is so crazy. weird and crazy. But I just... hadn't responded to her. And I, you know, I don't talk to her often. And I said, oh shit, I hadn't responded. So I, I responded. But I go down, do you keep all your text messages or you, do you delete them? I keep them and then whatever, you know, the phone automatically deletes. But yeah, I keep, I keep every text message and I, I keep every email too. Yeah. Cause you never know when you're going to need it. Well, the fucking For a court Go case. Yeah. No, the Googles know. though says like, you need to buy more space or you're running out of space. I got to go and, and delete. That's a scam. It's all a scam. Oh, to get more money yeah, from Yeah, of course. Oh, shit. Well, you're that. telling me- Why the fuck are you telling me now, Jen? You didn't know? Cause I mean, here's the thing. Why did I have to buy more space? What is this like unlimited? Like, it's just bullshit. <laughs> It's just bullshit. It's a bullshit scam. Like, oh, I have to buy more space on my own device that I already spent all this money on. Like, get the fuck out of here. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm. My cranky's showing. No. My cranky my old cranky lady. Showing. My cranky I lady. I imagine her with like blue hair, a, like tattoos. Is this sleeves. you later in life? Yeah, this is this is me, uh, and I'm on a porch with like a shotgun. Like that's my cranky. Um. Anyway, okay. Wait so. a minute. What's this, Jen? It's the same thing as your sweatshirt, what? David. What do you mean? Oh everybody? my God. S shameless plug. Oh my God. Uh, say, shameless say, plug. say, uh, what time is it? What time is it? I don't know. See you in PE. Oh, but here, hold on. Oh, I did it wrong. No, no, no. You didn't do it wrong. You didn't do it wrong. It's just very personal. You have to do the, oh, uh, uh, see you in PE. Oh, right. And it's the beginning. It's the beginning. Build. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, see you in PE. There it is. Beautiful. That was great. Did it. But honestly, if I tried to do the, uh, uh, it's uh, Alex, I feel like I fucked that up too. No, you just did it perfect. Did I? <gasps> okay, great. I didn't even need to be on the show. Um, but listen, oh, I will say to everybody, this is the most comfortable hoodie that I've had on in a long time. I feel and I'm, <laughs> Jen, Jen just tried to drink out of the CU and PE uh, a water jug and she missed her <gasps> mouth. <laughs> I was so mesmerized by you. No, but you have to like bite it to open it. So I was, that was whatever. Um, no, but I, really I feel like, I feel like with you doing this, we need to have like a, for four payments of 1999. You Listen, look like the Unabomber hey, right and now. And I also have a cafe called the Bigfoot Cafe at Pine telling, Mountain Club. And I'll tell you this. We need to get to the episode. On, hold on. And there's a, what's that? A hat. She's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it, Jen. You ready? Here we go. I, I think what's is, that? A hat. Crazy, funky, junky hat, overslept, oh, hair unsightly, overslept, trying to look like Karen Knightley. We've been there. We've done that. We see right through your fucking hat. <laughs> That's where you mess up every time. No, I didn't mess up. No, I, I, know you did it on, I know you did it on purpose. All right. But You're it was welcome, really good. You everybody. learned it. You learned it. After all these years, you finally learned it. Oh my God. I'm so proud. I've never been more proud. Um, all right. Back back, back to, to the episode. You know what this is? Was was <laughs> wait a minute, was Devil Wears Prada out prior to okay, this? Okay, so the devil This is our version of Devil Wears yeah, Prada. Oh, right? for sure. Like a thousand percent. Like Wizards was like the knockoff of Harry Disney's answer to Harry Potter. And then we did lots of not lots of, but we had several episodes that were kind of our version of whatever right, thing, right. right? So Devil Wears Prada came out in 2006 and we didn't start until 2007. So ah, this okay. is so our this like is... 2008. This was, it was probably like coming out on DVD at oh the time. God, I love this. that movie. Emily it's Blunt so is good. so good. In it's that so movie. good. I love, there's like some John Krasinski interview, which like goals those two, but like um, where he talks about like how he would watch it all the time and then the montage where like Anne Hathaway like is wearing all these different outfits and he goes, and that's my favorite. 
<laughs> I think it's so cute. Okay, real quick. Yeah. So John Krasinski <laughs> yeah. was doing a Did movie. You, have you worked with him as well? No, I wish. I love him. I think he's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an asshole. I just watched a whole mashup of him breaking on the office yeah. and laughing. It's so funny. But he was going to Emily Blunt. Uh, his wife was mm-hmm. filming uh, uh, somewhere in a different country and he was working and he went to go visit her. Yeah, they have a and, rule. They have a really oh, they, good they, rule yeah. where it's like they don't spend two weeks apart or they don't that. work projects at the same time, which I think is so beautiful and and intentional. Yeah, I think it's great. And uh, I am I want them to adopt me. But so he's in uh, uh, the passport control place going in. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. the guy's like, uh, who are you? And he's like, you know, John Krasinski, and I'm 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 working there, but I'm well, going to. Well, he was in England, so they have their England. version of the yeah. office. Ken He's knows like, the, Fuck the, you. the the. I know yeah, the story. Right? Yeah, it's a good one. But he said, you know, I'm going to visit my wife who's working. And he goes, "Who's your wife?" And he said, "Emily Blunt." And he goes, "You." <laughs> yeah, so I love that I'm taking his story. I, know, I love that we're sharing that, other people's but, stories. I mean, how funny is that? That's yeah. like a. It's no just brainer. the. It's just the weird. It's just a weird industry, right? Like, it's a weird industry when, like, you're married to somebody that's in it or dating somebody that's in it. The other day, like, and also, too, I don't know if you've had this where I've forgotten that I've worked with people or, like, they later became, like, yeah. a big person. I didn't realize the other day I've worked with Jenna Ortega. Literally, somebody sent me a picture On of us together, what, and I was like, this is Photoshopped. But what was, what was? It was this, like, one season, like, goosebump style show uh, called Dead Time Stories on Nickelodeon. Oh, okay. It was after Wizards. And she was just one of the kids. I would, my, the whole like premise of the show is I would read these spooky stories to children. Uh, and I was like the babysitter, right? Like I didn't even have a name. That was my name was the babysitter. And she was one of the kids I read a story to. And I literally just, it's just all the more reason to just not be a dick to people. Cause you just in general, yeah, just don't, but also too, like in this industry is so weird of like, you never know who you're going to run into. And like, I think John Krasinski like ran into her at like a restaurant or something. Like, it's just weird. And then how your lives interconnect and whatever. Yeah, just be I mean, nice. not that mine's interconnected to right. Jenna Ortega yeah. whatsoever. Just be but. nice. To, and I think she's very talented. Oh, she's and so amazing. Talented. And, and it's just, just weird. Be, just be nice to everybody. Yeah. It's just weird. Anyway. Okay. We're finally getting to the episode, which is our version of Devil Wears Prada. Uh, we start off in the sub shop. Like I said, meet me in little Italy. The rolling dice with the Lincoln Tunnel tuna. Jerry and Teresa steal Alex's sandwich idea, saying, if one of us has a great idea, then all of us has a great idea. It's like a very communist idea. Um, This (laughs) communism on Waverly Place. (laughs) Uh, This week's magic lesson is the freeze frame spell, which freezes time as long as you can hop on one leg because Jay Giles band. Well, Jen didn't know that, though. Jen didn't didn't. know that it was the Jay Jay Giles Giles band. band. But I didn't know that was that reference. Uh, Who invented the spell? I didn't know. He only had one leg, so that's why you have to hop on one leg. Right. I I, I didn't know the one leg thing. I just thought the hopping on one leg what was, was the, like well, a way to end it. Well, but you didn't know Edge Bono Utusis. I didn't. So that's I what I was like going to say. Even. I didn't know Edge Bono Utusis. The Edge Bono and U2, who just opened the thing, yeah, in, the thing in, in Vegas. That weird, what's it called? The Sphere. I don't the know. The Sphere. But it looks that people are videotaping the the you know the the yeah, what they're the watching on the tts on the tts yeah and the it's amazing um so she's still upset that she didn't get credit for alex is she, uh, the she i'm referring to uh same idea alex meets jeffrey who works at a top fashion magazine fashion fatale magazine he says it what in is jeffrey? every scene right but uh, yeah fashion fatale magazine <laughs> Every time he does it, <laughs> no. I was just in a spit take with Jen. Why is he in Waverly Place? This guy He's shouldn't like having be- a sandwich. Yeah, I know. But, but it's but- weird because like they have the whole joke later about like eating in the kitchen, eating in public. Right. Like so, they kind of like contradict that a little bit. Yeah, he was he was funny and and did a good job. It just was interesting because, you know, I guess when you're a. a, a Guest star, mm-hmm. you're, you're doing that's what a hard you job, can do. yeah, because yeah, you have to come into like a well oiled thing, yeah. It, it just was interesting, he had a lot, a lot of energy, which I saw, which was good. Well, and he's also, in the right environment, yeah. And also, Selena was wearing these like kind of uh, fingerless mittens, they and, loved and that, that in the first yeah. two seasons, and and she was very kind of fashionista thing. Yeah. And I have to just say, overall, I'm fucking pissed off that this episode was kind of making fun of y- y- Harper's oh. dress uh, uh, sense. And, yeah. you know, and, and it's weird because well, there's a moment and yeah. I'm jumping ahead. That's Sorry, fine. everybody. Where you're sitting down with, with uh, Selena in mm-hmm. the sub shop and you're like, you know, you, you, 
she's critiquing your clothes or whatever. And you're like, look at this. And, you yeah. know, I put this together. And she's like, yeah, it's great. You know? I mean, Harper, like later in the episode, and we'll get there too, where she talks about how she like, I just turned it into a compliment. Like she said, Harper's had a hard life. <laughs> Guys, Harper's had a hard life. Her parents were like traveling. Did you mention your parents in this all one? The you- I think so. But like, there's all the time Harper's mentioning like in, in asides where yeah. she's mentioning how difficult her home life is and she's just smiling right through it. And I feel like that's just kind of what she does is yeah. she sort of takes it on the chin and, and just smiles right through it, you know? Um, but later in the fashion show, and I know we are hopping around cause that's how David and my brains work. She says she's like intentionally making them bad. Like she's not, tr- like she knows that they're- Harper's. Yes, Harper like made 30 out. Cause remember she's like, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're getting out of ourselves. Yeah, and, I, and I'll, well, when we get there, I'll ask you about that. Okay, so the f- the the manager of mm-hmm. the Femme Fatale yeah, Jeffrey. magazine- Jeffrey's his name. Is there. Who uh, works at a top fashion magazine, Fashion Fatale, offers Alex an internship after she shows panache mixing and matching outfits. Cause she like rips off the magazines and replace them. Like, yeah, she takes- mess and- a top and puts it on a bottom and he's like, and the other top and puts it on a bottom. Yeah. yeah right. It's very fashion plates. Um, and it's interesting because she comes over to us and is like, Hey, yeah. I have to ask my parents permission. She, and she says, I'm going to go work as an <laughs> yeah. intern. Goodbye. But isn't that so Alex? Yeah. So Alex, where she's just like, I'm going to ask their permission. I'm doing this. Yeah. Peace. See you later. Um, and then in the B storyline, if you will, uh, or just the other storyline with Justin and Max, um, they're getting ready for this new hire, Millie. They're making fun of like, oh, she must be this old lady. Millie's such an old lady name. And then, of course, it's like Sarah Paxton, who people know from, you know, Aqua Marine and yeah. they know from Return to Halloween Town. And they're just like, Justin is the old like coyote with the tongue rolling out. But it's interesting because <laughs> David says, Jake says, I could be your wingman. Mm hmm. And then David's like, okay, you can be my wingman. And then he's like, I'm going to eat chicken wings and I'm flying with wings. And and then David then says, no, that means your wingman means you're supposed yeah. to um, go and, and, and say something nice and, yeah. and sell me to, to her, you know, um, which is interesting. And the reason I'm saying that is because he says to her, you're, uh, uh, you know, Justin loves action figures and this and that. And, and yeah, he's the, being like not great. Right. But the stuff things you don't that, lead with. Right. But the things he says to her or she likes, yeah. she's interested. You yeah. Know? Well, and that's like it too. They lead you to believe like, you know, he's found his like, you know, diamond in the rough In the rough. Well, she's not even in the rough cause she's gorgeous, but like it, just more so finding his like perfect match because she's beautiful right. and she loves all these things. She was very natural. Mm-hmm really great actress and i'm actually surprised that somebody didn't poke her and be like you're on fucking disney channel get some energy well, you know because peter knew her peter peter oh, had, had worked, worked with together? their yeah so they worked together i have that in my notes somewhere peter marietta peter marietta um he we he'd worked at her with her on um uh i think greetings it was like from tucson? greetings from tu- greetings in tucson yeah greetings in tucson they worked together i think it's from sure. tucson no, isn't it Greetings to Tucson? Greetings in Tucson. Shit. It, it might be it from Tucson. I'm not sure, but it, that's the show that he knows her from. So I right. feel like he, because he knew her, probably just let her do her thing, uh-huh. you know? Um, so but, they meet and, and they now meet, that's the- Max like totally fumbles basically. And then we realize it's not really a fumble because she's actually super into like wanting to see the action figure. And she asks him like, hey, what are you doing? There's this concert, this Tears of Blood. Tears, T- Ob yeah, tob tears of blood. Yeah, I love how they so would make that that up. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like the um, Ardvark movie. Yeah, you yeah. know that's bonk. But I, I I like that it's there in the world. There's a thing that mm-hmm. that everybody knows about. You know, so well, I feel like it fleshed out that sort of alternate reality, if you will, of like right. making the the bands and the movies and stuff. That but you then would. she doesn't really. She has a. We're gonna get okay. there. <laughs> Of it. Sorry. My notes are going to be a mess. My type A is just like, ah. I also love that Max is like, she probably smells like ham. Like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry. I, Ooh, I snorted. I like the snort. The snort made me happy. It reminded me uh, in the pilot, they asked me to snort and then honk. Oh, right. When I saw Justin. And that was like the, the early CU and PE, was I literally was like, <gasps> Uh, and 
like yeah. made this weird. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. weren't even there. How do you know what sound I made? Oh, because uh, you uh, have the pilot. It's, oh, it was on the, yeah. Yeah. The like, because literally they said, like, I think at the the table read, I asked, I was like, what do you mean by this? You want me to honk? And they're like, figure it out. Yeah. See what you come up with. And that's what came out. So, um, but yeah, I felt like that was the early, like, she doesn't know what to do. So she honks, but yeah. that turned into CUNP. Anyway, so Alex um, brings Harper to Fashion Fatale. She works there. She goes there at first and she, uh, originally they're just like, oh, you just get coffee. But then she has great ideas that, you know, Jeffrey then steals, but we're going to get there. We are all over the place. No, it's episode. interesting. When you come in, mm -hmm. she's like, that's uh, where it's all negative. You know, that's where the writer writes about women and makes them feel bad. And that's where they put the, the but stuff together. Kind that of makes, fashion magazines in general. Yes, but it's interesting because Peter... Mm -hmm. Or the writers, the the powers that be, were were saying, you know, these fashion magazines, these people make women feel terrible about themselves. Yeah, and that's yeah. the kitchen where they don't eat at all. You know, they have eating disorders. All this, uh, you know, it was just very interesting. But your reaction was great because it's like that's where they destroy the souls of women. You're like, wow, <laughs> oh look at that, wow. Because that was the it. space that I lived in. Well, also, hardware. and then and then as that moment was ending, I was like, "Why is her reaction so positive to that?" And I was like, "Oh, she's just at this magazine area, and she's it's so happy to be there." Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it's I feel like it's the same because I feel like it was very indicative of the Alex and Harper dynamic of like Alex always kind of sees the dark underbelly of things, and she always sort of sees like the she she's not. My brother calls it uh, bread and circuses. So like wait, when wait, you want to say that again. Bread and circuses. What does that mean? What it means is like back in, I think it was like, he's going to see this and just be like, no, it was this time period, but whatever. I think it was like during medieval times, if like the um, monarchies wanted to distract the peasants and they distract- would give them bread, bread and, and a circus. circuses. So that way they would focus on that and uh -huh. not see all this other stuff going on. Like the so Roman I, times when they yeah, would have the people So I feel being like eaten. Alex sees right through that and sees like, oh, I know what you're doing. You're dangling the carrot kind of right. thing. And Harper, God bless her, is just so pure of heart that she's like, a carrot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and so like that's, it's the bread and circuses. I feel like most of society would see that and be like, oh, they're beautiful. It's bright and shiny. And Alice just sees right, right through it, which right. I love. It's one of the great things about Alex's character. Um, so she brings Harper. Um, just in time for Miss Angela, our Miranda Priestley, to come in. Um, and Harper, according what to her. Where was she from? She was from like Designing Women or something? What was her? She, I don't know. Yeah. That's but, an IMDb question. Uh, she did such a great job of just being a straight up bitch, which is based <laughs> off of. The the Vogue Miranda Priestley, woman. yeah, or or Anna Winter. Anna Winter, yeah. right? Who can you imagine being her? I mean, no. what do you do? How do you do that? How do you just go? I'm in charge. Fuck all you people. I know what's good, and I'm just going to tell you. I mean, you have to have yeah. a lot of fucking confidence yeah. in yourself, you know. And she, and she's a, she's a woman in a leadership position, which is why she gets called a bitch all the time. She's not the most warm fuzzy person, right. but I do like wonder. I'm like, you know there's other men that are in high up positions that aren't that warm and fuzzy and they don't get called assholes. And I fucking hate well, that. Well, some of them do, but. You know what's weird? There's certain men that my wife, Yulia, will ask a question to, mm -hmm. and then that fucking dude will look at me like oh, I asked it and not look at her. So you know what I do now? Yeah. I avert my eyes. Interesting. I stop looking at the person Isn't it who's so, not talking to my it's wife. It's so weird to me, like the socialized stuff of like, just like gender bias and all that kind of stuff. It happens to me at the hospital all the time because I treat, I, I train new nurses. Um, and so I'll have like the nurse that I'm training with me. And if it happens to be a guy every single time, every single time, um, sparing of like maybe one or two incidents, they always go, oh, is this the doctor? And I stop them every single time and I go, really? Really? So just because I came in and we have female doctors that they come in and they go like, okay, nurse. And they're like, actually, I'm your doctor. You know, so it's just bullshit. Like, yeah. it's just bullshit that they, and I, and I call them out on it. I'm like, oh, you're, As you should. I call them out every time. And they're like, oh, don't get like that with me. And I'm like, like what? Like, just that I want you to look at people as being like a broad spectrum of things. But yeah, it's, it's just crazy to me that like, we still think that way of like, oh, men are doctors and women are nurses. Cause yeah. like even- in nursing school, like we had some guys that were in nursing school and they always, we literally went to this, it was funny, but also sad because it was just very generational. Um, but we went to this nursing home to like, we had to do all this volunteer stuff during nursing school. 
And uh, we went to this nursing home to like, there was a dance and we would dance with like the older people and we'd make sure that they had what they needed. That's it so was sweet. super cute. Yeah. But, um, but this poor guy and he got this shit all the time. We were at a table and this woman, this like ancient woman is like, so why would you want to be a nurse? Why, why would you want to do this? Like you're a man, you're a man, be a doctor. Why would you want to be a nurse? And he's like, I don't want the liability. I want the flexibility. I don't want to be in school forever. Like he's given her all the reasons. She's like, but you're a guy. Uh, like she just couldn't get past it. Yeah. And it was just so just mind blowing to me that that like is still a mindset. But well, it's interesting. Cause I'm going to the uh, Robert De Niro uh, meet the Fockers the the Ben Affleck oh, uh, Ben yeah. Affleck Ben Ben Stiller, Stiller is a nurse yeah, yeah. And, and and Robert De Niro is one of these guys and he's like he's a nurse yeah it's you know? like I don't know if it's 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 I think it's generational because like a lot of my patients are older and they have this like mindset but yeah. anyway like I said I could go down that rabbit hole for a I while. want to go back to the women in power for a second there are some women that are not nice. It's that true. are in power positions. And then yeah. it's interesting because I think, and I'm not a woman, but I would say that if you put your foot down and say, I'm going to do this and you're a woman, mm -hmm. that y you're no matter what yeah. looked at as, as like a, a oh, bitch or it's something. It's happened to me you know? so many times where it's like, I advocate for myself and, and people are like, oh, she's a bitch. And I'm like, how is it that I can't be easy to work with and also advocate my, for myself. And it is a delicate balance, yeah. right? Like it's all about how you communicate with people and, and, but some people just, if you question anything or don't just accept everything and just go, Oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Like they, they take it that way. Yeah. Um, but as to what you were saying, sorry, I'm just going to say this. And then, um, but it's like the psychopath test, right? They talk about how a lot of the CEOs are psychopaths. Yeah. And so it's like that they're generally not nice, warm, fuzzy people because they don't waste time and energy on that. That's how they can get to those positions. Ah. And also they don't have a problem stepping on people, using people because of their mental state. So I did never heard that. Oh, so, it's yeah, a great book. Oh, it's so good. Cause like the, they interview the CEOs, they interview like murderers on death row. Like it's just kind of, the, it's asking the question, what changes a psychopath from going like the CEO and mm -hmm. running the world or, or killing, everybody. killing everyone. Yeah. So it, it's like, what are the <laughs> things that make you choose one of the two? Right. Not that there's not other things, but, but it's, you know, it, it's, I think those are a lot of the people that are dicks that are in positions of power. And then I think there's also a lot of like women that they're just trying to advocate for themselves, have a yeah. voice and not apologize for existing right. and they get called a bitch. So yeah. it's, there's, there's a fine line. between. I'm them. so glad you said bitch because I said bitch. And then I was like, <gasps> am I allowed to say bitch? Is that okay? But then you said it twice. So where it's all good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> back to the to episode. Okay. Back to the episode. So, um, our Miss Angela, Miranda Priestley, uh, character it says Harper is dressed like a giant preschooler. Um, because she's decked out in cupcake regalia. So I, I feel like at this point, the, the costumes for me, like it's such a personal thing because this character is so close to home. Um, we're still figuring it out. You can tell because the, 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 the earrings are like these giant, they're like life-size plastic, like party city sort of like earrings. And then they've just taken Bermuda shorts and they've just like sewn or taped like streamers with cupcakes on them. Yeah. Like it's very... DIY and and you can explain it of What's like Harper DIY? do it yourself. Oh. Um but it's very like you can explain it as like Harper's still like getting better at sewing maybe yeah. but I feel like this is something she's done her whole life. And it was interesting so because wardrobe just had to trying to figure it out. Yeah, but wardrobe had to do something that was creative and cool Everything, but also yeah. not perfect. You know what I mean? Not yeah. you know, it was it was kind of middle of the road. But also too like they had they had such quick turnarounds. I mean, some of these outfits they had to put together in like a day or two. Yeah. You know, cuz they'd get, you know, the like a script the could script be at the beginning of the week and then Tuesday, Wednesday, they got to have it because we're be shooting different. Thursday, Friday. They could, like, add, they could add something that was very different and they'd have to change that. Quickly. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't have like Amazon prime at that time. So like you couldn't just immediately get it tomorrow. Like, so they had to deal with like shipping cause they got a lot of like small business stuff. Yeah. Back then Amazon was books. Yeah, that's right. Isn't that funny? Yeah. It's so weird. I that's just dated myself. Well, I was there too. I was there too. Um, so uh, Harper takes the insult in stride, stating, I've rewired my brain so they come across as compliments, which explains so much about Harper's resilience. But also- I wish I a, could do that. I, I mean, mean that's a wonderful thing. I mean, it's yeah. all about perception, right? Mm -hmm. And and usually when someone says something negative to you, it's about themselves. And if you take it as a positive, you know, then or you don't let it affect you, it's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna rewire my brain right now. Boop, boop, boop. 
<laughs> um, that was me breaking my brain. It's already broken. Um, but uh, no, there's actually, there's some conditions where like you have too much, I think it's serotonin. No, it might not be. It might be too dopamine. positive. What is, oh, Yulia calls it uh, toxically positive. Oh yeah. You hate yeah, those people. I do. I re- <laughs> Here's the thing is I'm, I'm very Wednesday Adams at heart. I'm very, uh, oh, we know Jen. I know, I know, I know. I mean, I but can't, that's who you are. That's who I am. And so whenever I see people that are just too like, but everything's going to be great and everything's yeah. going to be wonderful. I'm like, you're just an idiot. You don't know the well, truth. I, and like I don't, it, it's just, yeah. But I don't want to be, you know, misunderstood. I, I, I do like being positive and I think it's wonderful. There's a balance. But yeah. It's, you know, uh, my dog, died well now you, you can get, get a, a new dog. dog like what <laughs> fuck you my I dog died say, it's funny you go to a new dog i go to you can travel now because tony oh yeah yeah it's know. why i don't have a dog i no. want a dog so bad but like i have cats and it's i never had cats because i want to pee on everything oh fuck <laughs> Oh, let's go back okay. to the episode. Yeah, yeah, we were a hot mess express. Okay, so I, Jeffrey steals Alex's idea, which we kind of touched on. Dick. Of summer colors in the fall, which is groundbreaking. Um, yeah, which that, that was that, a little... But that alludes to a line in Devil Wears Prada where she goes, oh, pastels are like, oh. pastels in spring, groundbreaking. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, it's a it's a line in that movie. Yeah. What were you going to say? I'm so sorry. I kind no, of just, I mean, they had to, to say something. I didn't realize it was a bite on that. That's, but... I, I don't know if it is, but that's what it reminds me of is yeah. that line. Um, but yeah, so steals that and makes her actually get coffee for the whole office. So he's really put her in the position that he wanted from her the whole time. Right. And then she, oh, sorry, hatches a plan. No, no. <laughs> right. She <laughs> hatches a plan. Um, such a cheese of mozzarella. Anyway, um, Harper suggests Alex put on a fashion show using her clothes since Miss Angela hates her clothes to get back at Jeffrey. And, and to give Jeffrey's going to take the credit. So, so yeah, that's, so like yeah. set him up to look bad. Right. So Alex likes the idea and puts on an outrageous fashion show featuring Harper's Bizarre Wear to teach Jeffrey a lesson for taking credits for her ideas. In preparation for the show, Alex asks Harper how many outfits she can make in a day. She says 20. Normally it's 40. 40. <laughs> but her dad is using the sewing machine to make... What the fuck what, was what, he what saying? He what was he making? I don't know because literally the way that I said it... Here's the thing. The but first d- season of the show, I had braces on the back of my teeth, which uh, was a bitch on my tongue because yeah. it just cut it up like crazy. I don't think they do it anymore. It was like some weird experimental thing. Yeah, no, thing. I remember. I remember that that, that, that yeah. people had braces on the inside. But they don't really do that anymore, right? I don't I don't know. I never had medieval. braces. Because it's medieval. It's fucking medieval. Yeah. But like, so I had, bra- I had full metal braces on the back of my teeth because I was an actor and you couldn't see braces. And that was like, you know. A death sentence to a child actor. If anybody has braces on the inside not, of their teeth, let us know. Yeah, let us know. If, let me know if that's still a thing because my tongue is still recovering. But what did you say? My dad's using I, the sewing I, machine. I because- literally have no idea. So my speech was shitty because of the braces on the inside. I'd work so hard to make it clear. You gotta and watch so, it with subtitles. I, yes, because I I heard sado and I heard saddle. Those were the oh, two it's words. Be saddle. It's, but he can't sew that on a sewing machine. It's leather. Maybe that's part of the funny. Maybe I literally like it drove me nuts. I literally rewound it so many what times. What is the first like, word you said? What the fuck am I saying? He's making a new saddle. Saddo. What's a saddo? I I think it's. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. I have no idea what it okay, is. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know either. But it's funny that your dad. They they talk about genders. It's funny that they had your dad using the sewing yeah. machine, not where a, a, typically a woman will be sewing. Yeah. Back, but, right? but also too, like they were traveling performers. So I'm sure he was right. sewing some ridiculous co- like costume. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, if you know what a saddle or saddle or what the hell I said, please let me know. Cause I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Justin's trying to get Max to help him impress Millie. We're back there. Um, you know, and then oh, we talked about this. And then he goes to the tears of blood. This is what no, happens no, when we jump around. My notes the, are He goes to the mess. apartment and 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 he's like, "Hey!" And she's like, "Oh, good, you're here to to babysit." I know. My boyfriend's gonna. Has that ever out. happened to you? Where like you thought, okay, th- I hate this. I hate th- this. Is why I hate the word hangout when it comes to. I'm so cranky again. That like sleeved like it's shotgun okay, lady. Um, and I have had too much espresso, which is why I'm like, yeah, we we've talked about this. I I I I kind of went on a. I'm not sure if it's a date. date oh, that's thing. right, with the yeah. fairy from the show. Mm-hmm. But did she think it was a date? No, you thought it was a date, and she didn't. But I yeah. hate. But this is why I hate the word hang out. I fucking hate it. Like I literally have gotten to the point now, which is probably why I've been single like a Pringle for a minute. But. It, it's, I know you'd like that one. Um, but uh, because like, if a guy says hang out, I'm like, if you'd like to take, I literally will correct him. I'll be like, if you want to take me on a date, I'd love to go. 
but I don't yeah. hang out. Yeah, that's I hang great. out with my guy friends. That's exactly what I've been saying because to it's people. just unclear. Yeah, you say it, and you 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 know, it's uh, just unclear. And you know what they do? They go okay, and then I never hear from them again. <laughs> Dicks. No, but here's the thing too. It's I modern think, I dating. Think maybe and probably some of me too. Maybe a a, a boy or a, a I don't want to say man because a man, you know. Well, whatever would, gender, but, whatever but floats like, your boat. Hey, do you want to hang out? Yeah. Is a a I fear of rejection. You know, hang out is it's like, like a middle the of the road. Yeah, like it's chicken shit. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm sorry. This is. I'm also like my 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 poor southern mom has is like you just need to be softer. You're so aggressive, yeah. and I I see it. I get it. But like, and I have that side of me. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But like, it's. I don't know. I just well, I'm like, done checking myself. Do the, do I'm really the, tired of it. To the the younger generation. I mean, for me, when I when I was high school or, yeah. or junior high school, it's like, um, do you want to be my girlfriend? You want to wear you know my I mean? Letterman like, jacket? Well, I I didn't have a jacket like that, but like you should have had a would, jacket. You would ask, you know, you yeah. would. But I don't know. But that's where I'm. That's where I'm old school. Like I want you to ask me on a proper date. Of you course, know? of like, course, every guy out there is such a cop. You should out. do that. It's such a cop. Every any but any person. It's or, not or about a just person. Guys. Yes, any I didn't person mean to, should just. I just fuck everything up. Yes, no, anybody who likes somebody and you you tell them you'd say I want to. Uh, you know, spend no, just, time with you I to get say, to know. I've, I've had this conversation with people too about how like I feel, and we talked about this a little bit earlier about how like there's this idea of like masculine and feminine, but we all have masculine and feminine within us. I'm very and in so, touch with my feminine side. I know. And I love that about you. And I'm very in touch with my aggressive masculine yes, side. You are, and I love that about my you. My dick is huge. Oh um, my God, Jen Stone. I gotta, you got to put it, pull it out of your back pocket. <laughs> Why did I get embarrassed just now? I don't know. Because I referred to my dick and it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <sighs> breathe it's fine it's fine um anyway my metaphorical what have you um no but like i've, I've been i've had so many conversations with my friends about how we all have masculine and feminine within us yeah. and it's about i feel like the perfect relationships or dynamics are where you can oscillate between the two and mm -hmm. there's not one person like i feel like the whole toxic masculinity is because they just live in that space and they never let their feminine breathe and they have Probably, they have a lot of issues. Well, they they have also probably you know that's generation. I mean, it's been passed from one generation to the next. You know, but, that, but I also think it's I I, I mean, I, if your dad yeah. is talking to a woman and talking down to her, that's how you for see sure. it's supposed to but go. That, yeah, because I mean, you do it's modeled for you. But I also think too, it's like a fear of vulnerability. That's what I wonder sometimes when I see dudes yeah. that are so like toxically masculine. Uh, there's a bunch of them out there right now. This is this is something that needs to be talked about, and we need to get the word out that everybody should be talked to on on an even plane. You know what I mean? That well, yeah, but just uh, that we're all multifaceted creatures, and that we all need to let both sides breathe. I think is really important, and I think when you can find a dynamic with a person where you can let both of those kind of oscillate and, and yeah. intermix with each well, other. Be yourself. Kind of a beautiful okay. Thing. Okay. We're going to get back to the episode, but I want to say this. <laughs> a lot of people in the beginning, when they're meeting someone, they're like, I'm going to show you this. Yeah. Cause I think this is what you want to see. They you found know? that it is a three to four month period and you cannot hide who you are after four months. Which That's is, why they call it the rose colored glasses honeymoon period. Uh, the first three to four months of a relationship, they say that you can't hide who you are after four months. So that's where problems start to arise if they're going to pass right. that four months. And you mark. know what was great about when I met Yulia, my mm -hmm. wife, um, we she lived in Berlin, I lived in yeah. America, and I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking date someone else that's so far yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. But we But it took the pressure but, off. It took the pressure yeah. off. And it wasn't it wasn't like, hmm, because I, I was uh, uh, dating prior and I was like, Hi, hmm, do you fit my criteria? Are you gonna I be know, the is this slippery, what's gonna yeah. you know, like and, and I, I wasn't it, it just happened, you know what I mean, yeah. organically and thank God for FaceTime and communication, because you know, back in the day it would have been like letters being written. But I love and letters. Yeah. I was talking to literally the best. Did you thing. finally get my postcard? Did you get the postcard? I'd Not the one from Germany. Not the one, but you've got uh, another yeah, yeah, I okay. got your postcard. It made my whole day. I put it in my little like nerdy old lady like postcard album that I have. But literally I said to you, this is my last ex didn't do this until we broke up, which was like, look too little too late, dude. But, um, but I asked him cause he went to Europe uh, to shoot a movie. And I said, I was like, send me a postcard. Send me a postcard. And he didn't? No, because he was like, I couldn't find one. I'm like, what do you mean Fuck you couldn't fucking dude. find one? He f you found yourself a leather jacket tool. <laughs> um, okay. But I just say to everybody, be yourselves. Be yourselves in the beginning, and then you don't have to, like, change it up or whatever. You yeah. know, like, just, 
just present who you are. And if it's meant yeah. to be, then you'll be with the person. Well, that's why too, like I like, I like a date with an activity. Like I love, like I love playing pool or like darts with somebody or, yeah. um, you know, going to a museum, like things where there's an activity, yeah. right? But like, not a hike. I don't mind. A, oh, oh yeah. I mean, hikes not my favorite. Cause I can't look cute on a hike. I mean, I can, well, you, but like it's, but yeah, I mean, it's, I, I it's gotta be something that, that, yeah, it's, but, but you don't want someone just to be like, Hey, let's go get coffee and sit down and talk. I don't mind that. That's fine. In fact, that's my, like, if this were a dating show, if life were a dating show, that's my like preliminary. Let me see if I actually want to go on a date with you as I go to yeah. coffee. Cause I can get out of that really quickly. Of course you're not going to meet. I'm especially on, on like uh, when I did the swiping and the whatever. Oh the God, Insta. the worst. I hate Nobody the believed apps, that dude. it was me, which was they, so didn't, they don't with me either. I've gotten so many claims of like, you're a catfish. But I'm like, like, why would I pick me to catfish you? <laughs> But I, I pick the girl that wears produce from Wizards as the catfish. <laughs> like, come on. Of all the Instagram models in the I world, I was get going the hell on a date. Here. Like, I'm, I'm going to go on a date. You know, yeah. and you go and you're like, oh, fuck. Why did I? This is like a whole date. So I just would do coffee dates. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you it's just like a, meet it's an for audition. coffee. Yeah. It's like an audition where you're yeah. like, do I really want to spend an evening with you? Because it's happened to me so many times where I've gone on dates where it's dinner. And I know in the first five to 10 minutes that I'm like, I'm not into this. Right. And then I'm stuck there through a whole dinner. And yeah. I'm just like, get me the fuck out I of here. I think I said this before, but there was somebody I met and we had talked good banter, really funny, yeah. the texting and the whatnots. And then we went to sit down to have dinner and she was so fucking rude. Uh, you to told me the this. server. Yeah, that's and I no was go. like, you know what? I'm good. No I'm go. ready to go. This is how she treats people. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a huge red flag. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Back, okay, to, back the to the episode. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Longest <clears throat> episode ever because we're so many asides um so alex plans backfires um because he decides to give he her the credit gives her the credit because he fix, picks up on what she's doing but yet i don't know i got the vibe he did. i didn't well you guys tell us if, if he got the because what did i Jeffrey got know? Did he not i know? got him what i saw was sincere and it, he even says you know i've reflected and i'm having a thing and you know like i had a moment and i want to just let everyone know this was alex's thing you think he was aware that she was trying yes, to fuck i don't with think him? he's that introspective well, we can agree to disagree on this one. okay that's fine do you, you tell us yeah yeah so i would love to hear what the fans think of like what they think um i also love by the way that i'm this like queen of hearts princess leia outfit where i have these huge buns and like all these hearts and I think the earrings were keychains. Oh, really? Yeah, like you know those like like D rings, but uh -huh. they were shaped like a heart. Yeah. I think they were that in literally earrings. How funny! Um. So anyway, makes her look bad in front of Miss Angela. Alex reacts by using the Giles J times a day freeze frame spell and tries to fix the outfits last minute so they don't look as bad. And I have to say, I was a little annoyed because in the beginning of the episode, um. David goes down during that that hopping on one leg and goes, mm -hmm. what does he say? He's like, oh, Charlie Horse. Charlie Horse, Charlie yeah, Horse. Yeah. Which is just so silly that yeah. then she gets a Charlie Horse while she's doing yeah, But it. it's a lot of like impact and, on and, that muscle. But she goes around up. and changes all the outfits. Mm -hmm. To make and, them more presentable. And then right. she tries to spin it as fashion for the unfashionable, which Miss Angela actually loves the idea, of right. course, because it's always going to go in Alex's favor and doesn't fire her as an intern. That's her grand prize for making this amazing fashion show. She just doesn't get fired. Right. Um, I'm going to tell you the... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, please. I'm imitating her. I'm going to give you the highest compliment I can. You're not fired. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and then Alex... But... Alex quits and grabs Harper to do the worst thing you can possibly do in a fashion magazine, which is go eat in the kitchen publicly in front of people. It's just not, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do it. Horrifying. We talked about how the whole episode ends with poor Justin getting there uh, with the kid with, um, what is his name? Uh, Benji um, to babysit for, um, for Sarah Paxton going right. to the Tears of Blood concert, which the the guy they got to play her boyfriend, I'm like, she's way out of his league. Like he's not very cute. Was anymore. that on purpose, you think? To to I don't think they thought about it. I yeah. think they grabbed a guy and went here, stand here, take her out, you know? Right. Um, but I do love that he made the most of it and was just basically like do you have Aqua Avenger? Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, okay. Well, which was great. <laughs> yeah. and, and that's about thinking positively and being in the moment. And and I, I like that it worked out in a positive yeah, but also, way. Uh, yes, agreed. <clears throat> but you have to, it's Disney. So it has to end on a positive. Like they'll yeah. never end an episode on a negative unless it's like a to be continued kind right, of situation. Right, exactly. Um, so Giles J times a day, freezes time hopping on one foot. Wait, hold on. Say that one more time. Giles J times a day. 
Oh my God. So cheese. So cheese. I love it. Um, I froze everybody. That's what I did. <laughs> um, when was the time that you would want to freeze time? Oh shit. What, what's something that you would want to do to freeze time? When I was getting my divorce no, in court. You always bring it back to your divorce. Well, I mean, that's the, that was big, the worst, yeah, worst time of my I, life. I can imagine. Four years, $500,000 later. Something smaller. Mm, smaller. Something smaller. Where I want to freeze time. Mm -hmm. But isn't freezing time mean that you can change things around you? Yeah. I mean, what's the, yeah. Well, then the divorce would be a good one. Shit. What, I, can you answer this? Did, what, sure. When did you, yeah. well, you know, I love to ask a question I have no answer to. Um, I think for me, I would probably want to freeze time. I stick, <gasps> my, I stick my foot in my mouth all the time. I'm so excited to hear what this idea is. Cause you want to, so you want to put the, your foot in your mouth and then freeze time. No, I oh, do you it. You want it. I, so I want to un, so I said like a little, cause like I but said, my brain not... works three steps ahead of my mouth. Right. So there's many times where I'd want to freeze it. Well, I guess that's more of McGreary time. Right? I was going to say go McGreary back. time. Right? Yeah. I know where I want to freeze time. Where? In Mexico. I, I have a place down there. So if I froze time. That's a good, that's I a could, good one. But, but the interesting because. But you can't do anything. Well, you're by yourself. Oh, right. Okay. So can I freeze time with Yulia and Tony? No, because she'd be frozen. Everyone else is frozen. Right. See, so it's, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to think with like the Giles J times a day where I would freeze time. Uh, maybe. What would you guys do? We want to know. You let us know. Like, what would you, where would you want to freeze time? Question mark. Maybe on a test. I feel like a test would be. Ah, right? where, you, where, where, ah, right. where I can go and I can like find the answer really quick. So cheating. But like, <laughs> but yeah, I feel like a test is a really good time. Or you just yeah. have more time to think about it. I'm a terrible test taker. And that time that like 10 minutes left. Uh, yeah, like, time before an audition or something. Time yeah. in order to learn stuff. Yep. I'm, I'm, time, I'm chronically late. Time to get places. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, you know, Yulia is German. So the German, Germans are very punctual. I like Germans. Germans are delicious. No, um, being very punctual means you respect the other person's time. It does. And it's, well. it's a thing I don't like about myself that I'm working on of, to be more punctual. Um, I, I just miscalculate sometimes. It happens. It, it happens. happens. It happens too frequently. With so you, wait a minute. But it does did we get us. through the whole we Wizards episode? We got through the whole episode? episode. We did it. Finally. We Amazing. went a thousand different. I'm thinking of like Loki where there's like all the, 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 the splits from time. Oh, the, 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 the new yeah. show Loki. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I watched the first season, but yeah, it's interesting. There's, it's like they created this whole nother kind of yeah. world where they go out and there's different. The That's timeline. what our conversation the was. The fucking multiverse is just. It's it, too much. It's, it's, too, it's much. too much. I can barely handle one universe. And it doesn't, it, it, it is like we had said, you know, like let's let's science fiction or or you know like superhero stuff let's let's create this thing so you can have many different dimensions so anything is possible you know what i say yeah fuck that <laughs> fuck the whole marvel universe oh well, listen uh, wait a you're minute you're like no 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 i, no, love, no, I, didn't say I that. love marvel <laughs> i love marvel but dc I would love to <laughs> can can uh, you know i'm i'm not going to say it but i i don't like the dc I, I don't like the DC on the TT. And on that, <laughs> we'll let you guys go. Uh, Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Cheers. You're Look at this. Watch. Here. What's that? A, A hat? Cheese. No. Cheese. Cheers. Mozzarella. Brie. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Wizards of Waverly Pod. If you want to watch clips from the show, you can check out the Wizards Pod Clips YouTube channel, and the link is in the description. And if you just can't get enough Wizards, join our Patreon for exclusive bonus content. The link is in the description for that as well. I'll see you guys next week.